Alright everyone, Protoceratops has been added to Jurassic World Alive and we know Protoceratops was involved in an age-old battle against the Velociraptor so we're going to recreate in Jurassic World Alive to see who would have won that battle of course with the Jurassic World versions so we will get Protoceratops against Blue the Velociraptor and we will see who will win in, in hindsight I probably should have done it with Beta because that's more close to the accurate size of a real Velociraptor but hey, we're going to see who will win Protoceratops or the Velociraptor Blue. So get excited guys. First we're going to use its hybrid Protonodon which is made from Badgertonodon and later on in the video we'll check out Scorpiovenator and its new hybrid the Scorpiodactylus. Finally Dimodactylus has a hybrid. How awesome is that? But yes, all these cool new moves. Protonodon is just overpowered I swear. I thought you know uniques were gone from the meta. It was just going to be apexes up the top but this seems like a perfect counter to Kong Catalog, and I do believe I got an email saying that it was built to be a counter to Kong Catalog. so there is also that but yes footage is from the Bayo build provided to me by Luso slash GMC so don't go commenting I hacked the game I didn't guys this is official footage um, even though no one commented that, that last time so respect you all because um, Unfortunately, you do get some really silly comments sometimes that comment that I don't know if they're trolls or they just can't read but It's there, you know, don't troll me guys, please. I I, I don't want to deal with those comments. Anyway There we go. There's Aquila minus gone. So now out will come blue after Protonodon does its cool little reactive So it's interesting. It's not a flock creature, but still and you can see blue is about the same size as them anyway So I guess it doesn't matter that we didn't go against beta because Protoceratops seems pretty big for the Jurassic World Live version, so I am quite surprised they didn't do a flock. I feel like it would have been super easy for them to just do a flock, and then later on they could have added Microceratus using the same model to the game. Am I right? Because like we don't have Microceratus in Jurassic World Live yet. It's one of the few things we are missing. We've got most species, but Microceratus is just not here. But you know, they added it to Jurassic World Evolution 2 recently, so I don't see why I couldn't join this game. But yeah, I do think it would have to be a flock, which would be like, I don't, I don't know why we need three different Ceratopsian models, but anyway, Protoceratops is cool nonetheless, right? So I am glad. Look, here's the thing, the models, right? I'm going to praise them because they put more effort into making new models. Think about it, this could have just been a baby Triceratops. Like they could have just shrunk down the model like they did with Coriannosaurus, which was fine. It's a hadrosaur anyway, it's fine. They could have just shrunk it down, and that was that. But nope, they fully made a whole new kit for it. So to that, good work to the team, because, yeah, putting more effort in is just, like, good work. You know, I can't not applaud putting in more work and stuff. It's pretty cool. But Scorpio over here, it's very interesting. I do believe it's the first Abilisaur without, like, any horns in the game, or at least horns on the top of its head and whatnot. I might be wrong, but you think there's like, what, Rajasaurus, which has got the one horn, got Majungasaurus, same deal, Carnotaurus, two horns. Um, I'm trying to think, I mean, you know, you've got Concavenator, but that's not an Abelisaur, it just uses the same model. So, you know, Scorpionator is this cool little smooth Abelisaur, it's really cool. But then this one, of course, gets the crest from Dimodactylus and it looks so good. The colors, everything, they really match Dimodactylus. So I really hope those Dimodactylus enthusiasts that wanted a hybrid for it for years, I don't know how long it's been this game at this point, but I know it would have been ages because the Morphedon and two Pandactylus, it's ingredients, right? They were added way back. So, you know, I assume the hybrid was added way back to probably somewhere close to 2018, 2019, and we're in 2024 now. So. Hopefully you guys think it paid off. I think it paid off. I think the colors look really cool and I'm curious to see if they plan to add any more hybrids. Be pretty, pretty exciting. But um, yeah, I mean, got a lot, a couple of new things. I think hopefully there'll be more to come like there is, you know, often when they do the passes, they'll release an apex with that. So fingers crossed there's more stuff. We do know that there was a vote revealed recently that you had to, or like a couple of months back, you had to vote for. It was Triconator Dilo Rakyrus hybrid. What was it? It was like uh, Dilo Zorin, I believe. 
And also my favorite one, Dracos Intrepidus, because it's a pro C pro Ceratosaurus hybrid. Um, I'm kind of hoping they all get added because obviously Trichinae is going to win because it's the T-Rex hybrid, right? All, always the T-Rex hybrids win. You think the first vote, Indotaurus, which is made from Indominus Rex, which is T-Rex, obviously, that one. Then the second vote, you had, what was it? It was a T-Rex. It was the Indonemis, which was part Indominus Rex, T-Rex. Again, T-Rex. So, you know, obviously Trichinae, I feel it's going to win. It's kind of obvious, you know, but... I'm crossing my fingers that all of them will get into the game eventually because I, I would love for Pro Ceratosaurus to have an Apex hybrid. Although it's design, I'm not happy with it being a Pro Ceratosaurus hybrid if that's its design because it doesn't have any horn. You know, it's think about it. It's made from both Triceratops and Pro Ceratosaurus, yet all it has is the dome from what you call it, Draco Rex, I believe. What happened to the Proceratosaurus crest and what happened to the Triceratops horn? Please, please, Ludia, if you're watching this part in my video, I, I pray you haven't you haven't fully made the model for it yet. I'm crossing my fingers. Please, if you're watching this, add the Proceratosaurus horn. Please, that's all I ask. If you're making a Proceratosaurus hybrid, you can't neglect the crest or horn. Please. Anyway. Yeah, so there was that. But you know, maybe one of them could be the next pass or something. I don't know. Maybe a future pass. Not entirely guaranteed. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see because that's really the only lead we have to the future Apexes. I might know more, but I'm not going to reveal any because um, I'm kind of, I can't really say. But yes. That's all, the only lead we have to go. Maybe, you know, the upcoming three Apexes could be the voting ones. We don't know, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. There's Proton on getting the win. It's, it's super overpowered. Like, I don't have to put boosts on it or anything. It's just going to get the win. But here, Scorpio Venator. It's not the greatest one, but I mean, that's expected, right? It's a rare. So it's, you're not going to get the best out of it when you're going up against Uniques and Apexes. I've said this many times before. But it's still, it has its uses, right? We're going to get it to, you know, take down Dior I just saw here, I believe. Well, it just did nothing. But, you know, we should hopefully do that rampage and do some damage. Hopefully we can take it out. I keep shielding, so it's going to keep countering me. But it's not doing too much damage. So we should be kind of all right here. But yeah, I, I do think this update is pretty good. Obvi the four, I'm not entirely satisfied with getting four creatures every update and then having the coolest stuff of the update released later on because I can't it's kind of making me not want to do these videos they're not getting very many views because the creatures in them they're not you know really popular and stuff or I say Trichonator if that was released like straight away if we were getting that because I'm, I'm just saying Trichonator because it's a T-Rex hybrid I feel that will get may, way more views than what Protoceratops and Scorpio Venator will get. I have tried to make the most out of Proceratops by versing against Velocirap. I know that's a famous battle, so I've tried my best, fingers crossed, but I'm not expecting many views from this video, to be honest. So it's kind of making me want to do Jurassic World Live videos less because they're not getting too many views because the creatures are so obscure that no one really wants to see them. So what I hope out of the future from this game moving forward I do hope we can get some more movie creatures, you know, Carithosaurus, maybe. What other carnivores are we missing? Like, you know, I, Microceratus, as I said, I mean, it's not a carnivore, but it's Smilodon, you know, from Camp Cretaceous, Tarbosaurus, Camp Cretaceous, Nothosaurus. And think about all the Chaos Theory creatures they're missing. Beckel, Spinax, Pachyvrysaurus Pachy is still not in the game, surprisingly. And you could do like a Suchomimus Gen 2, I guess, and also a Majungasaurus. Gen 2, or just call it Major, because we do know there are named creatures in this game. So that, of course, is a possibility. But, um, yeah, there's just so many movie creatures they could add that they just haven't added. And, you know, you could say, yes, Jam City designs have kind of fallen off since the original Ludi designs. And I think that's why they've avoided making movie designs. But what about reskins? Right? Think about the Baryonyx trio. They're not in the game yet, but we have the Baryonyx models. It's a literally as simple as just reskinning the Baryonyx. I could do it. I could do it for them. Let me do it. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, 
Anyway, make sure to watch the previous playlist up here and I'll see you later. Bye everyone.